Wicked Witches. So once you have carved out some time for yourself, when you arrive, you need some time to settle. So don't think that you're gonna like instantly start writing. You need to woo your muse. Um, those of you who did the Which Fool Are You course with me um, had a bit of time spent with getting to know your muse. It's literally my one of my favourite things um, to know. So there's a meditation uh, which I will be doing on the full moon, at the full moon ceremony um, on Thursday, which will be a meet your muse uh, meditation. And I believe I've done a video already. I think I've done a video where I've done a Meet Your Muse meditation, which is in YouTube. So if you want to have a look back, it's one of the earlier ones. I believe there's a meditation there. If there isn't, then I will do one. But I will be doing one on Thursday. And then after that, I'll, I'll do a video where um, you can use that. I learned this through Lisa Lister. It's one of my witchy, amazing teachers. And I met sleek, sexy, beautiful fox called Shona. This is Shona, and in the meditation, you learn what are her favourite, or it doesn't have to be a her, but what is your muse's favourite colours and textures and smells. And I found out that Shona, who is this sexy fox, I mean, I had no idea that she was going to be who appeared. Um, I've always loved foxes, but I haven't had a particular association with them, other than the fact that I've slept with two people because they were dressed as foxes. But um, I never sort of, yeah, they didn't jump out as me as a, an animal that I was kind of closely affiliated with. But Shona is this sexy, sleek female fox and she loves red satin and silks and she loves salmon, obviously, because she's a fox. And she, um, when I looked up fox goddesses, there's one in Japan which has nine tails and is a shapeshifter and can be male and female. And then there's also the um, like Brer Fox, who's wily because he eats the salmon of knowledge, which are from the River Shannon. And the River Shannon is where the trees of knowledge, which are hazelnut trees, hang over. And so the, the hazelnuts from the trees of knowledge fall into the river. The salmon eat them, come the salmon of knowledge, and then Brer Fox eats them. And that's why he's so cunning and wily. So when... I'm drawing Shona, I have all these elements in there. We've got the salmon on her kimono and she's wearing a kimono, um, sort of Japanese vibe. And then she's um, associated with the dragon as well, dragon spirit, which I do have a lot of connection with. And then there's the hazelnut around her neck. And yeah, she's sexy airs. And then she's got the waxing crescent moon on her forehead. Um, and then that ball is a ball of inspiration, a circle of inspiration, which is also the circle, which is the circle at the top of the tarot deck. Um, of the fool, um, which is also a ball, and the ball is everything. It's it's the inner and outer as one. So when I'm writing, I'm trying to get my inner world flipped to be in the outer world um, using fooling, which I will discuss in another video. Um, so when I prepare to work with Shona, it's literally like I'm going on a date. And my dear friend Lee, who died last year and was the world's a much shitter place for him not being here and less colourful and less glittery. He would often have, um, on his own or with Ro, his best friend, a She-Ra dates, where he just, just a She-Ra date. I just love the name, She-Ra date. And that's what I think of the date with my muse as. It's a She-Ra date and it's a ceremony. And so I've just gone, I'm on my own, I'm in lockdown. It's day four of lockdown. I just had a shower, I just bleached my hair, I did a little bit pink, put on an amazing outfit, put on some makeup. I've just been prancing around dancing and making music videos. <clears throat> and I have on my altar Shona, my muse, and I've got the smells that she likes, which are rose, sandalwood and frankincense. Um, and I burn them um, to, to evoke her and to please her. Um, I will be having a salmon dinner shortly. She likes salmon and chocolate, so I'll be eating salmon and chocolate. And then I have all the elements there uh, to evoke her and, and, and all, all of the um, directions. And then I just, I mean, I, I, 
like basically we make out and you you make of that what you will but it's a date night so we make out and that that is a way of preparing yourself to being in the inner world we're not you know it's up to you how you create work you can create work so it's like work or you can create work like you're a child in a candy store imagining that you're a princess in a tower you can make it fun you can make it colorful you can make it incredible and as artists you know we don't get financial recompense we don't get applauded at the end of our lives for how hard you've worked the only thing you get is your health and your happiness and that's the benefits of being an artist so make it as fun and healthy and wonderful as possible. I'm, I'm having a wonderful time. I'm not drinking, I'm not smoking. It's day four of not drinking, not smoking. I feel really good for that. And I'm enjoying the clarity. I am drinking some mugwort tea. So I'm, you know, going to be playing in the dream this evening. Mm. But that's very subtle and, you know, helps me relax and believe that I'm back here in the right sprained world that was horrific earlier today like you saw how I just wasn't <laughs> wasn't okay that was not okay um I feel a bit damaged from that so I need to really let Shona know that she's safe and that everything's okay and I need to re-relax my silent twin and that's what we're working with is your silent twin you have your outer noisy twin and you have a silent twin and this is fooling and trying to work with your fool you need to like woo the fool out and my muse is my fool i'm giving my twin to my muse and i'm saying to her hey come and hang out with me i'll play you the violin i'll make you a salmon dinner and i promise we're not going to be <coughs> and i promise we're not going to be filling in any more spreadsheets <laughs> like i mean imagine if you're on a date and you had to stop the date to go and fill in a spreadsheet yeah mm -mm. you're not going to get any action out of that are you so I need to make up for the fact that our date went really badly last week and start again. So step one, carve out your time. Step two, woo your music.